It's 100.3 Bay FM, and Farrell Williams, oh, happy, happy, happy. The girls are so happy this morning. <laughs> and I'm pretty happy too because I've been informed a bit more about stem cells, which I've been aware of, but uh, it's, it's good to get into the nitty-gritty of it all. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I thought uh, for a start, you'll be doing a talk down the Gold Coast on Monday night. Did yes. you want to quickly say where that is? Yeah, and... that's correct. Uh, I think... Uh, we were talking with your receptionist at New Leaf Natural Therapies today. It's probably uh, a good idea if people uh, give New Leaf a call. and Yes, uh, Sanu will have the details. Have the details. So for, it's at Rabina on Monday night, 7.30 for a 7.45 start. And that's a talk uh, to really anyone who wants to come along and, and hear and understand about the, the product range mm -hmm. I work with. Beautiful. Mm. Uh, so over the years, obviously as a naturopath kinesiologist, because obviously... We've known each other a long, long time. Mm -hmm. uh, because we can have a bit of a chat about what have you seen with kinesiology, just sort of going away from the stem cells for a minute, from that structural perspective, from the brain perspective, what have you found that that's helped in your life for you personally or for your clients? Using the products. No, no, no. You know, just Thinking about kinesi kinesiology, kinesiology in general. Kinesiology. Yeah. Kinesiology is amazing. Yeah, I certainly... Uh... I wonder how people live without it uh, in their life uh, and of course there's more and more different types of kinesiology coming out than uh, what we worked with as well but just the fact that we both studied lines that help us work with people structurally and I think with the neural organisation technique it's just fantastic to be able to work with how the nervous system uh, I guess uh, interfaces with our reflexes that help us guide our body through space. You know how in the neural yeah. organisation technique we're always resetting the reflex system that lets our brain know where our head is in relationship to our pelvis. The centering how, mechanisms, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the cloacal reflex system so that when that's out of sync, you know, that sets up a lot of chronic t talks and twists in people. Uh, and it certainly led at times to just driving uh, a massive amount of people getting helped. Uh, Actually, before Linda and I both started studying kinesiology, which was around the same time 21 years ago, yeah. uh, we were swapping massages week by week. In one week, her body felt totally different to what it had felt previously. Right. And I said, oh my God, your body feels totally different. What have you done? And she said, I had an hour of kinesiology yesterday. Oh, and that was the beginning. And, and that was the beginning, You noticed yeah. it when I walked in, because I mean, people can't see that, but I'm pretty much six foot tall and had uh, kind of grown up quite stooped over with my shoulders quite rotated uh, inwards and I'd had that the, tall girl syndrome yeah the tall girl yeah. syndrome oh, and that great yeah. pleasure of uh, meeting Ross Smith who's a retired kinesiologist in Queensland now uh, who was studying some nutrition when I was and man did he straighten me out in that session and I guess as we went on to study neural organization technique we learned how to reset the bicipital tendon so that you can uh, the shoulders. Yep. Mm. Yeah, I had a lady on the table a few days ago. Uh, hi, girls, if you're listening. Uh, <laughs> so she's been waking up with numbness in her right. fingers and yep. toes for several for, for some time. And for a start, I thought, well, maybe it's going to be insulin resistance or some sort of pre-diabetic sort yep. of condition. But her bicipital tendons were out. <laughs> so basically, the muscles were so tight, it was pulling the tendons off their little groove. Yeah. So the nerve supply wasn't getting down to the fingertips. Mm. Yep. So once I put all that back in place, so it'll be interesting to see how she's been yes. sleeping ever since. Oh, but then her hips were out as well. So she's done a lot of real physical work uh -huh. in her life. And her hips were out. So yep. we popped the old femur bones back in and tensor fascial artists and got them working you know oh, yep. it's you'll not rocket to, science but we do love it you'll have to give us a report on that next week yeah yeah as it'll as be interesting to see yeah because yeah, it was really simple the little bits and pieces yeah. i did on that and mm -hmm. at new leaf i mean you do so many amazing things don't you yeah we do really so do. like we were talking before about the blood so when we do look at when, when, when you're seeing the blood on the uh, TV screen through the microscope, you know, the size of the red blood cells are about the size of a five cent piece oh. and the white blood cells are about the size of, say, a 20 cent piece. So you can imagine then if you're seeing this sticky stuff that we were talking about before, the fibrin, and it's like a big clot on yeah. the screen, it's basically a clot. It's, you know, something yeah, that shouldn't like be there. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be stopping circulation getting to areas of the body. So... You can see a lot of stuff with the blood. We sort of obviously, Rob does acupuncture and massage as well, and uh, Georgia and I do a lot of kinesi, so love the kinesi. And particularly, I guess it's, it was my journey that led us to the neurological kinesi. Oh, it was. The, the 
the brain kinesiology because when we went to study neurological kinesiology, you have to be quite coordinated and be really good with your left and right. <laughs> and Linda wasn't. <laughs> and I, uh, I could understand uh, all the reasons and all the connections and everything, but... Uh, yeah, I because really, I really struggled in those days. It was okay. So when you face down, you have to do this on the left shoulder and this on the right uh, hip, and then you have to turn them over and you have to do the opposite hold or shoulder or the opposite hip. And Linda's brain would go, ah. Yeah, because I, I hadn't crawled, and uh, I always said at school I was the girl you everyone wanted on their science report, but nobody ever wanted you on their baseball team. <laughs> 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 yeah, and so I remember talking to another kinesiologist I knew at the time, and she said, well, you need to go and get LEAP. And I'm like, what's LEAP? And she goes, well, it's uh, a whole field of brain kinesiology, and you get to work with coordination and, and yeah. that sort of thing. Wow. And I went and had four or five sessions, and once again, I think, turned up at your house, and you're like, wow, what's happened to you? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I've had this brain kinesiology and taken a lot of the electrical stresses out of my brain, and yeah. it really, for me improved my coordination hugely. I could actually walk down a hall without you know, bumping into the wall and things. Yeah. And had a lot of work on my eyes and uh, got my eye-hand coordination and my eye tracking working properly. Because I always had 20-20 vision, but I couldn't play tennis because once the ball left yeah. the opponent, <laughs> I, I couldn't track on it enough to see to what side of the court it was yeah. coming to. And, and your 3D vision oh, was 3D. really... <laughs> it was great fun playing pool yeah, with I her remember, because she yeah. couldn't get the cue to match up with the balls. Right. Yeah, yes. but all of that got pretty much fixed up yeah. uh, with the brain kinesiology as well. Yeah. yeah, so Georgia and I both do some of that at New Leaf. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's uh, great, it, great yeah. working with kids and it's great to talk to teachers about how actually, you know, if kids can't naturally do some of those things, that actually there's, a, there's connection issues and I think that's a big mm. issue, the difference between teaching and really understanding how the brain, the brain learns yeah. and that if you don't Oh, two six. If you don't pick up on it automatically, it's because the connection isn't there. Yeah. Well, it's not only you learning and finding out about what you can do. I mean, the fact is you've, you've had quite a few uh, experiences where you've tried it and, and the, the proof is there. It's worked. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because when we were both learning the LEAP process, we were over in Perth about, I don't know, 10, 12, 14 years ago, something like that. And Linda was very linear with the way that she worked. So, so the well, she was listening, she was taking in information, but then she had to go away, write down all the notes so that it mm. implanted in her brain so, so she remembered. Whereas I'm very gestalt. I'm very, okay, I've learnt it, I've listened to it, I go back to my clinic, I do it on someone pretty much straight away. I don't make notes, I don't... You know, and yeah. and but then at that course we both had our logic gestalt centres sort of. She was double gestalt. I was no. Oh, she was double logic. logic. I was double gestalt. Oh. And then the next time we had both totally changed with the way that we were treating clients in the clinic. Wow. And we'd known each other for ten years by that stage. So it was like, oh my god, what's happened? <laughs> well, listen, it was so bizarre. We're starting to run out of a little bit of time here because we we've got the lovely deal you're in right up yeah. the day news. But uh, now, you've opened up a couple of doors there where people are thinking, oh, okay, so, oh, I had a bit of that. Yeah. So, so if they have any questions, they can give you a call. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, Sanu's on the counter today. Hey, Sanu. And okay. she sort of has had lots of leap, lots of structural kinesiology done. So yeah. she's definitely someone you can chat to about what it might be able to do for you. And she also... Yeah, so it and that sort of energetic emotional gear and how it can shut down your brain. Mm. Sanu definitely knows mm -hmm. how to uh, yeah. chat to you about that as well. But also the stem cell uh, chat on Monday night, if anyone's interested in that, yeah, gives Sanu a call. Rubina. Absolutely. Rubina, yeah, yes. Rubina. Yeah, Rubina, okay. Beautiful. Listen, what's your contact number again? 3348 6098. Edith Street, Wynnum. 94 Edith Street, Wynnum. Wynnum. And you can find us on oh. the net, New Leaf Natural Therapies. Are you going to come back and join us next week? I'll be here. Good. All right, Linda, <laughs> uh, enjoy your time in Australia. It's been lovely and uh, very eye opening to see what you have to say. So, That's congratulations on that. That's and great. Uh, enjoy your week, won't you? First mm -hmm. time on the radio. I know. Thank you for having me. It's coming up on Monday. We'll, we'll check out the latest news very soon.